Hey hey survivors, welcome to a new video with Paul, and welcome to the first video in my series about the Memorial Statue Collection sets. Today we're taking a closer look at the Dawn of the Pride set. I'm going to show you the individual statues in this set. I'm also going to show you the upgrade costs and the bonuses. So grab a drink, sit back and enjoy. Since we are on the test server again today, I have to point out that there may be differences to the live game, even if there are none in our case. But now back to the topic. As you can see, the Dawn of the Pride set consists of four statues. These are the Dawn of the Pride, Foxy Charm, the Brute Force and the Primate Planner statue. On the overview page of the set you can see the four statues and their current level. Below you can see your current bonuses. You can also see here how many collection points you get for unlocking all four statues and completing the set. The Dawn of the Pride set gives you 50 collection points. But where do the bonuses come from? You can see that on the rewards page. Unlocking two statues gives you 1.5% troop defense. Unlocking four statues and completing the set gives you an additional 1% defense amplification. On the rewards page you can also see that the maximum level of the set is 10, that you get 10 combat morale with each set level upgrade and that this set has a special skill which is upgraded when certain set levels are reached. Now it's time to upgrade the individual statues and thus the whole set. I'll use the Dawn of the Pride statue as an example. The costs per level are the same for all four statues, let's go. I have summarized the upgrade costs per level in this table. In total, you need 23 permits for each statue to get it to the maximum level of 10. And here you can see all the maximum bonuses of the Dawn of the Pride collection set. You can get a maximum of 100 combat morale, and you get 5 skills, one from the set and one more from each statue. And where do you get these statues? You can get them as rewards in many big events. For example, in the store of the current anniversary event. You can take the statue you want or need from these crates. I have summarized the costs for you again. To max out one statue of the set you need 23 permits. To max out all four statues and thus the whole set you need 92 of these statue crates. In my opinion, unlocking all four statues and thus getting the 50 collection points is possible for all players if they actively participate in events. However, upgrading the entire set, and thus also the set skills and the statue skills, only makes sense for rally leads in my opinion. I hope this video is helpful to you and that you like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you soon with more new videos.